infrared rotisserie back burner needs replacing far less than infrared grill burners and are more difficult to access. By the time this DCS rotisserie burner needs to be replaced, we're forced to grind down and drill out most mounting bolts. We're grinding one right side bolt and only the main left cover to expose the gas line and orifice. The orifice elbow attaches the gas line to the burner and normally simply unscrews from the burner. Now the elbow nut is far too corroded to unscrew, so we're removing the gas line attachment to the elbow connection. One last bolt and the burner is out. Because this elbow is so badly corroded, we're replacing the elbow and replacing it with a brass nut instead of the galvanized nut that corroded so badly. Once we've installed the new elbow and less corrosive mounting nut, we can reinstall the infrared rotisserie burner with the elbow and orifice pre-installed. With the burner installed, we'll simply connect the compression adapter to the gas line and light the gas with the rotisserie safety valve.